Leave, so it could be just a product of the situation, but that's something I like to uh, as a possible on, early strategy. What a match! What a battle! That's a nice backhand roll on the lefty side from Augustus Ga. And there's, oh man, he's he's fun to watch. He's a fan favorite. Xiao Mei, oh, and the great singles net. player and doubles oh, game rapidly the improving. Crucial 30 years old lives point. in Hawaii and a fortuitous bounce Gets off the, the tape. He will We're take. We're not at nine. Used to be the hitting partner of Rafa Nadal back in the day, originally from Mallorca, Singers. Spain, captured the attention. First made his entrance out of the pro scene in singles, captured the attention of top pros. And then there's Augie Gu. Let's talk about his progression. Oh yeah, there's a lot to like. Good hand speed. We've already seen two great lefty backhand rolls. Three, zero, one, one straight ahead and one cross court into Matt Wright's body. Played tennis at the University of Arizona. He's a lefty, obviously. Second serve. Uh, Division one tennis on display. Matt Wright being the next ch target there, former University of Michigan Wolverine tennis star, and just unbelievable, Three, top zero, of his two. game at 46 years old. Legend of the game, Matt Wright. One gold in Austin with his partner, Dyescu, stepping in for Ignatowicz. Pretty grindy first few points. Lots of dinking, and middle is definitely a point of emphasis for Augie Gu and Jaume Martinez Vic as we see James Ignatowicz just incredible raw power and length at his disposal. And that right there might be the reason they are avoiding the forehand side of Matt Wright. He has such a quality speed up off of the bounce on the forehand side. Zero, and we four, see it right one. there jamming up his opponent, Xiaomei. No. Yeah, ducking. Pays to be short uh, sometimes <laughs> as all he had to do was just bend his knees and get out of the way with that, zero, four, you know, zero. raw power I mentioned of James Ignato, which sometimes uh, doesn't work in your favor as those often sail along. And James ripping a serve into the net and he will continue to go big on the serve. He has one of the best four, zero, serves one. in all of pickleball. Second serve. Never had a chance on the lefty drop, to, drop Four, zero, attempt two. from Augustus Gu. <laughs> yeah, Matt kind of shakes his head as if that one snuck over, it was going to be trouble, zero, four, but caught one. the tape. the spot again Matt Wright jamming body a few points ago and this now a clean winner up the line on the forehand side for him one four one and for these two on the near end relatively new to the sport mm -hmm. there is a really nice smoothness to their game there's nothing one, real four, frantic not a lot of arms and legs flying around they're very much in control of what they are doing and I love that The pressure from Jaime Martinez, Vic, and Augie Gu was taken at 38 in the Four, premier one, level one. draft. So still 10 selections behind him. He's going to the Dallas time. Pickleball Club. Do you agree with his entrance into the premier level? I do. Okay. Yeah, I do. I had the seventh pick in the challenger draft, and he was not even on my board because I knew he would not be there. <laughs> Four, 
That's a nice shot from Ignatowicz. Ooh, that was phenomenal. And not at full pace either from James. He loves to rip that forehand up the middle. Augie Gu thought he was going to go one there, four, but he went fully cross court for the clean winner. And there's that big serve I was talking about. Missed one earlier, but you can see a miss or two is okay when you're getting big benefits like James did right there. Two, four, one. Forehand on full display. I'm buddies with them, let's give an but I feel, here, you know, Michelle, happy for, a big upset for Sarah on the and Audrey. And, 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 and yeah. I can just, I mean, Rachel Rohrbacher if, if you want to win a Bright match, you warm up with Dow. I mean, I really did. I, I hit with them for, I was going to, you know, I was like, I don't really want to play. And they were like, no, come on, we need you to play. And, and I played. And, you know, that's why they won. You know, it's not them. It was me. I won that match. No, but for that was unbelievable. I mean, Today for Anna Bright. You know, they're Next down 9-7 or third on the cells. bad side. Clinching gold in both and just kept in battling, just kept fighting. I really thought Anna and Rachel were going to win that match. I mean, yeah, I, I just I thought 90% chance maybe when we're well, at 9-7 or third. Too frequently um, by me in but, this chair, but oh, this deserves a big but, uh, wow. What a win for those two. And a huge drive from Jaume Martinez Vic because he's singles prowess is leaking over to his doubles game. Five, three, two. Wow, that is phenomenal hand speed. Initial counterattack from Matt Wright was tattooed. Wow, wow. that is phenomenal Guh hand Vic speed. Up to the initial counterattack from later. Matt Wright was tattooed. Wow. But Guh and Vic up to the task three, a couple two. shots later. <laughs> I mean, this guy. I love this guy. <laughs> I mean, this guy. I love this guy. Yeah, that's a nice one handed backhand from the chest. For yeah, that's a nice. One-handed backhand from the chest from Xiaomi with plenty of pace. Three, six, and the boys on the near end are having a very quality start to this match. What a, what a roll from James Ignatowicz on the third shot. Earn his team a point. Four, six, two. Yeah. Big rip from Ignatowicz. Now you can see the first volley contact point of Augustus Gov very Five, six, low. Two. So nice power from James and great spin to keep that ball down. <laughs> yeah, Jaume uh, probably should have dinked that last ball. <laughs> James Ignatowicz crashes to the middle with the patented C. Six, six, two. Awkward position in the midcourt from James. Went with more of a power shot from that position. And when your opponents are at the line and you're back, that rarely works out. Six, six, oh, man. That took a, I guess for Matt, a right turn as he oh, was man. unable to. That took a catch up with his footwork. I guess for Matt, that a ball. right turn as seven, he was six, unable one. to catch up with his footwork. That ball, yeah, you can seven, see some some. As I mentioned earlier, tree debris. Falling <laughs> <laughs> on court and some. The official ball of the PPA Tour.
it's how it works as this uh, physical talent work. gets so tight out here on the PPA Tour. with some magic at the kitchen. Hand speed. Oh, yeah. Oggy Gug coming up Matt with some Wright magic at the kitchen. Frozen, and you will Hand rarely speed. check. Say that yeah. statement for Mr. Gug. Yeah, so the two Matt lefties Wright he was selected frozen. over. You will rarely that say that statement. Round of the draw was. Yeah, so the two the lefties he was, was selected over is and in CJ Klinger. Your boy. Round of the draw was, or the mm, draft rather was, Pablo Tejas and C.J. Klinger, uh, your boy. I praise to be taking over Pablo Tejas. He's my boy from last year with the hard eights. And uh, I praise to be taking over Pablo Tejas. I agree completely. Nice little poke on the one-handed backhand from Xiaomei. Right at the left shoulder of nice Matt Wright. Nice poke on the one-handed backhand up the from Xiaomei. Ignatowicz right and Wright left is shoulder of Matt Wright. And Vic and after comes evening storming up the back. score, Ignatowicz and Wright is yeah, that's good. That's three and now for Gut. Storming back. Stepping to his right to look for the lefty forehand yeah, drop. Three now step for Gut. backhand, who is, which is stepping been more to his consistent. right to look for the lefty forehand drop. Maybe Six just stick with one. the backhand, who is, which has been more consistent in this game one. Second serve. Matt Wright coming in hot, looking to put pressure with that one-handed backhand, but Xiaome able to put it Six in the proper nine, spot. Two. Missed drive from Matt Wright. James Ignatowicz in perfect position to do some damage too. Matt's got to put that ball in play. Yeah, there's that easy power from James. Go able to dig several of those in the midcourt throughout this game one. That time couldn't do it. James, James' reaction suggests a funky bounce on the serve. And look what we have here, a game point for Gut and Martinez Vic on the two seed. Upset special could be brewing here from Cary, North Carolina. Gut and Martinez Vic take game one. I was thinking he didn't. It just seemed flat on the side of Ignatowicz and Wright. Chalme Martinez Vic crashes to close. Yeah, he is lightning quick. He is zero to 60 is about half a second. What a great read from him. This would be a wild upset. Chance. <laughs> Sails long and a home run for Augie Gut. Kind of coming at our camera, too, <laughs> which is about 20 feet above the court. So interesting. from Jaume. And normally James would just be speeding up a ton of forehands off the bounce in the middle, but the hand speed of Jaume and Go right now is not allowing him to do that. Uh, he, was, he was pretty on that, uh, but Matt Wright, slippery forehand. One, two, two. is a wicked backhand roll from James Ignatowicz. It certainly is, and I'm even more impressed with the mid-court dig right before that shot. Oh, 
Oh, my. Oof. What a ridiculous defensive point. <laughs> Yeah, and uh, good to see coming off that shoulder injury as well as James Ignatowicz looking to fully release on those two overheads, so. Yeah, but you have to wonder how mm -hmm. slow you ease back into those overheads, right, with a shoulder injury. And Michelle, why not mention this? It's the uh -huh. day of upsets. We have Tyler Lug and Julian Arnold going down to the Dallas boys, Ivan Jakovlevich and Brandon French. Keep it going, what a day. The Dallas boys, Dave Fleming will be Happy about that, a resident Dallas analyst, I guess, <laughs> with pros. That works. Just missed, clipping the tape and sailing long on the serve from James Ignatowicz, but a nice run nonetheless to take the lead by two in game two. My goodness, bombs away from the kitchen, sailing that one long. Man, the, some of the hand speed and counterattacks here are, are really world class, and I'm not talking about one player in, uh, individually. It's all four, really. A crashing Jaume Martinez, Vic, to tie it at four. And I love that from Gu. So uh, to, to hit the two-handed backhand, he had a bit of an issue with the forehand drop early in game one. So mix it up, drive that backhand, and use your partner who poaches very well. A little dink grind, and one of the few errors from Augiga at the kitchen line. <laughs> well, yeah, well, Dave, we were talking about Dave a second ago. He always says the partner pays the price, and that's exactly what happened there. Go pulled the trigger off the bounce on the two-handed backhand right into Matt Wright's. <laughs> A little extra stare now, yeah. too. Yeah, and Matt hasn't really chirped much or shown no. too much emotion. We'll see if that could happen sooner rather than later. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> right on cue, Mr. Wright. Coming in hot with the big backhand. Oh yeah, he took it right in the kidney, Zhao Mei, from two points ago. That was a great, <laughs> great replay. So specific. Let's go, come on. Another tag. And that's good, that's emotion. You know, yeah. that's, in three points we've had a Matt Wright big time back. When the world sleeps, greatness rises. And while others dream of the next level, we chase it. Challenging every limit. Turning obstacles into stepping stones. Because the next level isn't just handed to you. It's earned. Go next level with 6-0 Pickleball. James Ignatowicz and Matt Wright with a two-point lead in game two, but down a game to Gut and Martinez Vic. Looking to add to the crazy upsets we've seen so far today. Yeah, I think James Ignatowicz looking back at the baseline, questioning, questioning whether he should have hit that ball or was going to go out. I think it might have thrown off his swing and forced the air into the net. That's a nice pull from Jaume as Matt Wright just a hair late sliding to his right with the backhand counter. Gun Martinez Vic teaming up for the first time together, so this would be quite the run for them. Nice hand speed, Michelle, from everybody. And James able to get some good topspin on that last Four, ball. Force Gu to make the mistake. 
Oh, I, I love that play. We've seen Ga drive and Zhao may poach. This time it's roll reversal. I know it didn't work out for them, but I think it's something that they should continue to look for. Fine for Ignatovich. Make it a three point lead. Is it just emotionally that they feel a little flat on their side to this point, or just tactically speaking in your mind? Yeah. Uh, uh, you're talking about Matt, right? Yes. yes. No. So they did have some fire right, a few points ago, but I think leading up into that, it, there was a bit of flatness. And I, I agree with that completely, especially on the side of Matt Wright, who loves to, you know, do the stare downs and kind of bark back and forth with his opponents. Nothing Matt Wright can do is that James Ignatowicz backhand roll sitting up enough for Xiaomei to attack. Wild backhand from Ignatowicz. Yeah, his uh, power is a benefit and a detriment if you do not use it properly. We've seen a variety, we've seen all of that from James throughout this match. Uh, no. Ooh, wide for Martinez, Vic. Yeah, he was hoping James was gonna protect Matt right in the middle, who was unwinding the stack. He went behind him, but couldn't keep it in. That's great hands from Jaume after a pretty quality first volley from James Ignatowicz. A lot of people with Jaume talking about his singles prowess being much better than doubles, and this would be a validating win for him in men's doubles if he can pull it off. Yeah, definitely. That's the progression that often happens. Singles, then mixed doubles, then gender doubles for the fellas. What a dipping drive from Augie Ga. Really enjoying his two-handed backhand. Quality technique and really good result. A two, we'll see if they can get that two-point lead. What a first volley from Matt Wright, who was late getting to his position. He hits an inside-out backhand to avoid Xiaomei looking for the poach. Probably hit an out ball, didn't matter. Agnatowicz buries it to tie it at eight. Eight, eight, one, one. Yeah. Oh, what a dig. And some positive emotion that we were looking for from Wright and Agnatowicz, and they inch out in front. Nine, eight, one, one. Ignatowicz pulled the trigger down the middle. It's it's his favorite shot, and he has one of the best ones in, in the game, but I think that righty-lefty combo and, and that counterattack ability and hand speed of his opponents has kind of put him in a pickle. Such good defense from Matt Wright. Doesn't matter though. Serve back to Gunn Martinez Vic. Yeah, great spot from Jaume. Took just a hair off uh, to get more spin and, and hit that ball lower. Matt Wright in a very awkward position to come up with that. And a missed return won't do Ignatowicz any favors. Tie game back at nine. Gunn and Martinez Vic could take it in this service series. I, I, I would really like to see a big serve and a drive at Matt Wright unwinding the stack. Wow. 
Perfect step in from Matt Wright. And that's one of the best additions to, to Matt Wright's game. Always tinkering is that backhand attack with one hand out of the air with good spin. Wow, a dipping drive from Augie Gah and a match point with it. Great use of his lower body. Gah will drive it to win it. 11-6, 11-9, and the first time partners Augie Gah and Jaume Martinez Vic are moving on to the quarterfinals. Thanks, Mish, and they're like, when are we gonna cut to us? We're tired, we wanna go home. But here we are, what a fire upset we just witnessed, guys. Did you ever think you were gonna come out here and take down the number two seed here? Um, I, I did not think it, but I believed it. So, and, and that's how we came in. Um, as an underdogs, uh, I had no pressure. Uh, I don't think he had pressure either. And now that finally I made it to Challenger League, I also have even less pressure. So it's great. <laughs> Augie, I feel like I've heard your name so much over the last few months. Everyone talking about how you're gonna be the next big thing in pickleball, it's a lot of pressure. Where do you come from? How, where, what is your background? Tell us about you, because I feel like we don't know you, but we're about to. Yeah, um, I'm just trying to live up to the hype, really. But no, it's uh, I just love playing pickleball. I'm from Phoenix, Arizona. Um, just really started going full time like back in December. So uh, it's nice playing with sick partners like Jaume, who have insane energy. It's just a blast out here. Jaume, what a partnership the two of you make together. What do you think can take you all the way here this weekend? Uh, just us having fun. Uh, we we kind of, it's the first tournament we played. Yesterday is the first match we ever played together or shared court. And we, I, I think we found kind of something that works, which is improvising. And here we are. <laughs> and here we are. We can't wait to watch you guys play tomorrow. Congratulations. Mish. Hannah, thanks so much. Wow, what a moment for these two. Augie Gah and Jaume Martinez Vic. Look out for Augie Gah in Major League Pickleball 2, by the way. Snagged in the premier level draft a day ago. And here's a look at the men's doubles draw. Only three spots remain to be claimed in the quarterfinal round. What a day, Adam Stone. I love it. I, I, I mean, I absolutely love it. Uh, you know, I, I love the favorites and I love watching them win and talking about how great they are. But when some of these upsets happen, it just it just adds a different dynamic to the day. And it's been very fun, as I always mentioned. Uh, this is my job. I am in the booth. <laughs> But I am a fan, and when I get to see matches like this and, and pure joy from Xiaomi and Augie Ga, that is great a, a, as a pickleball fan, and uh, the more the merrier as far as I'm concerned. Now the fans are showing up here in Cary, North Carolina. Big shout out to them. Keep it going. We love to hear the great atmosphere here from court. By the way, a heads up play in the interview for Xiaomi Martinez Vic and Augie Ga in this one. Bombs away, and... Martinez Vic is tracking, tracking. He's got it. <laughs> We're going to step aside for just a moment. Women's Jebels coming your way next from Humana Championship Court.